Now, a U.S. senator has pleaded guilty to a drunk driving charge in Alexandria. This all stems from an incident back in December when an officer pulled over Idaho's Mike Crapo for running a red light. Brianne Carter was at the courthouse this morning, and she has the story. U.S. Senator Michael Crapo pleaded guilty this morning to driving under the influence days before Christmas. I'm embarrassed uh, to have to admit publicly that I failed. As part of the sentence handed down today, Crapo will lose his license for one year. The Idaho Republican will have to attend an alcohol safety program opinions. and pay a $250 fine. I sincerely regret the choice I made because tragic consequences can result from combining drinking and driving. I'm grateful, truly grateful, that no one was injured. Back on the morning of December 23rd, the congressman was pulled over for running a red light at the intersection of Hume and Mount Vernon Avenues. On that night, Crapo says he was in his apartment in Washington, D.C., drinking vodka tonics. He says he was restless and just went for a drive, ending up here in Alexandria. Crapo failed several sobriety tests. According to police, Crapo was given a breathalyzer test and registered a .11. This morning, standing outside the courthouse, the senator issued several apologies. I am profoundly sorry for the pain and embarrassment that I've brought to my family, to Idahoans, to my church, to my colleagues in the United States Senate and my staff, and to anyone else who has placed their trust in me. In Alexandria, Breanne Carter, ABC7 News.